The problem we have in front of us this time is the following. We want to write a program that, like many other times, will be reading input from the user. We want the user to be giving us integers, one after the other, and what we are going to do, what the program will do, is that it will say whether each of those integers is odd or even. The program will have to stop when there are no more integers to read. So every time it reads an integer, then it will have to reply odd, for example. If it reads another integer, it has to reply even. The user does not give any more integers, the program ends. Try to solve this with the new Java features that you have just learned. And if you need a couple more hints, continue the video for a little bit longer to, for us to give you those. One of the hints is that it's pretty much a reminder that the scanner class has a method called hasNextInt. And this method can be used to let us know whether or not there is another integer available. This method will return false either when it is the end of file, EOF stands for end of file, or there is something other than an integer detected in the input stream. So try to solve this problem on your own and we will come back together to see the solution. We have started writing our code here. Let's see what we have done. We want to write a program, so we need to have a main method inside the class. We are reading from standard input from the user, from the keyboard, so we are using the scanner class to do that. There are other ways, but this is the way that we have been learning in this class. And then we want, what did we say? We want to make sure we read integers from the input while they are still provided. And like we mentioned in the hints earlier, we are using the hasNextInt method of the scanner class in order to do that. So we are saying while there is still another integer, do what? Get that other integer. What do we want to do when we get that integer? We need to apply some kind of criterion and see whether that integer is odd or even. How are we going to figure out if the integer is odd or even? If you may remember from the beginning of the class, from topic 1, when we were talking about binary numbers and we said a characteristic that differentiates even numbers from odd numbers. That is the fact that the last bit, the least significant bit of the binary representation, for even numbers it is always 0, for odd numbers it is always 1. This is one way we can ask whether the um, number n is even or odd. We, are, we can check whether the byte, excuse me, the bit, the least significant bit, is 0 or 1. And we can do that in programming. We need to use some special kind of operators in Java, which are called bit operators, in order to figure out whether that bit is 0 or 1. This is one way to do it. However, there is an even simpler way to do it, and this is what um, I'm going to show you here. What we're going to examine is whether the remainder of the division by 2 is 0. If that is the case, then the number is even, otherwise it is odd. And how can we do that? We can just have an if statement here, which will be applying exactly this criterion. If the mod operator which will give us the remainder of the division. Notice that this is an integer division because n is of type int and 2 is of type int. So if the remainder is 0, then we have an even number. Otherwise, the number is odd. And of course, we don't really need the curly braces here. They don't do any harm, but they are not needed either. Notice also, since we are uh, talking about IntelliJ, if, for example, we only typed this part of the expression as a criterion. IntelliJ would give us that these are incompatible types. We, it is required a boolean. We found a int because the result of the mod operation will be a an int. And very easily, very fast, that it will point out that mistake we have made. So now we can make our um, code, we can compile it, and then we can go and run 
like I mentioned before, you should run through by using the shortcuts for your particular system. Here I run it through the menu so that you actually see what I'm pressing. Also, you may be um, confused because the class file here is not in a source directory as I have showed before. This is only because the Java file was already in the directory when I imported that directory in IntelliJ IDEA and it was not in a subdirectory inside the directory, the project directory. This is why it appears like that. When we are talking about small projects that have one or two Java files, this is definitely not a problem. Usually we like to group the Java source files under the source uh, subdirectory. So here is a window where our program, our application is running. As you can see, it looks like nothing is happening, but like usual, since we have used the scanner class and we are, re we are ready to receive something from the user, that's what the program is waiting. So suppose that we give a number like 5, it replies odd, 2, it replies even, we could also give numbers on a line and it will output for us the exact result we expected. 